a third game as interim manager and a third different competition. This the Europa League, so what are your thoughts on Powerk ahead of the tie? Yeah, the Greek champions are coming uh, to, uh, to Manchester and current second in the league, so that's also a good start of the season. And uh, that's a big, uh, big challenge for us, European night at Old Trafford. Looking forward to it. And how's the squad looking for the game? Any changes to your personnel? Yeah, we, uh, it's, it's looking uh, that we're going to add some people uh, to, to the bench uh, that, that were injured before. Uh, we, we just trained, we're going to check how things are. Hopefully we can get uh, Ericsson and Mount and Anthony back in the squad. It was good to see Lenny Yoro back in training. How is he? Yeah, so that's a good sign. Huh? It's, uh, he, had a, he had a long uh, recovery. He, he was back today for the first time with the team. Um, Obviously not ready for games, but uh, good signs and had a good reception from the team as well. Speaking of young players, there have been a few regularly involved in match day squads. How close are one or two of them perhaps to making a debut? I mean, I have to say the, the lads did really well in training. They also were part of pre-season. Uh, they're still very young, 17, 18 year olds. They, they, have their, their, they need their time. But they showed already that, uh, that they can uh, help the team. And uh, like Ethan Wheatley, he, he came on in the, in the, in the Carabao Cup against Leicester uh, as an 18-year-old striker, a lot of potential. And, uh, but the others as well, so we keep, uh, we, keep, we keep working with them as well. We were defensively very sound against Chelsea, limiting their chances. The possession was pretty even in that game. With perhaps more possession against the Greeks, what are the differences in your defensive mindset? Well, um, of course, uh, the, the opponent forces you to, to defend as well, and uh, hopefully as, um, as little as possible. But we have to be at our best. I think if we are sharp, if we are aggressive, off the ball, and, and can, uh, can, can pressure them uh, early, we'll see how the game goes. But there will be spells, they, they will have the ball as well, and we have to be really compact and defending well. So, uh, you know, home game, Old Trafford, um, yeah, very challenging one. And with three draws in the three games in the competition so far, how important is it that you get the victory? Everyone knows that, but there's no difference in every, every game Manchester United plays, you're, you're expected to win it, so there's no, there's no difference there. Um, but for us, it's a matter of performing, performances, and built on performances that we that the lads put on over the last two games with that spirit, with that togetherness. And they, that, that, that's the foundation also, I, as I said, after the Chelsea game. And then the qualities of the players will, uh, will start to flourish. And just finally, something a little different for you at the beginning of the week when you took part in the foundation's dream day. How was the experience? How much did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was always amazing to, to receive uh, the children and, 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 and uh, spend some time with them. Uh, yeah, they, they are fantastic supporters of the, of the football club and they gave so much energy and inspiration to, to me, to, to the players that we also want to take into uh, tomorrow's game.